Hey guys. Um, so I was scanning through online stuff about um, follow up from David Grush's whistleblower uh, experience. And I came across the Black Vault um, website, which I always look at podcasts, sorry, not website, but podcasts. And um, I actually really felt for um, Greenwald. Um, the guy who runs the site, he actually is being misquoted. He's being misrepresented. Um, apparently there was some news that came out about, um, medical records of David Grush, uh, relating to PTSDs that he was treated for. Now, I don't know about you guys, but is that how you, you know, the, the negativity and stuff, is that really how you want to treat patriots? You know, um, I don't, I know I don't, I can only speak for myself. I can't, I don't even know the language of half the people on this in in this country anymore. Um, but I do know that PTSD is nothing to, um, criticize, ridicule, um, question. And it certainly doesn't define someone's mental capacity um, for telling the truth and having honor and dignity in speaking truth. So, um, and I, if I sound repetitive, I am sorry. I just, I got a little angry about it and I really wanted to uh, speak up because I don't think it's fair that someone being misquoted or misrepresented by silly um groups that are just trying to, you know, kind of jockey for headlines or, um, for discrediting David Grush or, um, any whistleblower for that matter, including, uh, Ryan Graves or, um, Commander Fravor, I would say that if that's where your story lies, then, um, you are weak, pathetic, sad, disgusting, disgraceful, and um, you certainly have no one's interests at heart other than your own. And um, I know that's kind of like, I don't even know these people. I don't think I need to. I think I know everything about them just by knowing the um, character they're showing by using something like a PTSD diagnosis from which was supposed to be confidential and somehow surfaced. Just like I'm looking at these, I know I, t I said I'd never talk about political stuff, but I was a little disturbed also to find out that grand jury um, identities in the Georgia, uh, Fulton County, Georgia case were released. Guys, these lives of these people are now critically in danger. And for what? For being chosen to do their civic duty. I just did, you know, my civic duty. I, I reported for jury duty. Unfortunately, I couldn't serve because of a past experience I had. And the case was pertaining to something too close to it. And my judgment, you know, when I was asked specifically, would you, if you were in my client's position, would you want someone like you on the jury? And I had to, I had to answer honestly and say no, because I had a distinct feeling and it's probably just my, um, I don't know, possibly my intuition, but, um, women's intuition shouldn't be messed with very, very much. <laughs> um, there was something inherently off about the defendant in the case that I was um, possibly going to serve on the jury of. Thankfully, I didn't have to serve. So it all worked out, and I think it worked out for a reason. And um, all I really want to say about the grand jury being identified and listed is I, I kind of I want to say sort of a little bit of shame on you for Georgia allowing that. Um, what purpose does it serve? to have them identified, um, risking someone's safety when you have control possibly over not doing that. 
I'm sorry, but I don't understand if you had the option, if you could make it an option, even if you could enact something that would make it an option, wouldn't you want to protect the innocent people who are just doing their civic duty and now will be attacked by people who are fundamentally unhinged due to believing in something that has been proven to exhaustion to be false. And then also understanding that there's no limits to what these unhinged, this fringe group of whatever it is, 25 to 28% of the Republican party will do to innocent people just to terrorize them and terrify them. Um, there's no links that they won't go to. That's been proven time and time again. Um, I really hope that this world starts to right itself because I'm getting very uncomfortable <laughs> with a lot of the allowances that seem to be made. I'm very much a believer in democracy and the freedom to do your civic duty without um, danger to one's self. Uh, but nowadays it doesn't seem like that is built into anything. It's just something to think about guys. It's not something that you need to get angry at me for saying, because all I'm doing is telling you kind of probably what everybody already knows, right? I mean, these are all basic things. I'm not reinventing the wheel here. Um, innocent people are going to be victimized by people who are not acting patriotically. They think they are because they believe a farce and they need to use their own minds to decide for themselves. But they've already made up their minds. They already see corruption where there isn't any. They already see um, truth where there isn't any. It's just, it's unfortunate and it's scary because it's creating probably one of the most terrorizing and terrifying existences for a lot of people. I just hope that the integrity of these prosecutors stays true to the course and follows through. And I hope these judges stay, stay true. I know one of them in Florida will not, she's already take basically on the payroll. I, I mean, well, attorneys don't get paid. So by this person, so I guess she probably wouldn't get paid either. She probably gets paid by the state or whatever, but, um, it's just too bad. It's too bad that you can't even trust, you know, somebody who's been put in a position to equal out justice and, and, and listen to both sides before making a judgment and not creating your own judgments and things like that. Like she is, um, it's uh, pretty pathetic, but, um, I'll just leave it there. I'm sorry. I'm doing a little bit of a rant. I'm just, um, it started off with David Grush. I just was really upset to see that people were bombarding, um, this poor guy on the black vault and using words that would never, he never spoke in, in the context of how they were used. Other things were added, you know, and I'm not, it's not like I'm saying I'm a fan of his or anything like that, but I am a fan of the fact that he does speak the truth and his truth. And he does do a massive amount of research on the things that he does report. So, um, you know, I'm just trying to be fair, you know, just like everybody else should try to be fair, you know. And also, you know, I guess just try to speak up when I see an injustice of some kind um, or that doesn't feel right to me. It makes my skin itch. <laughs> so I will um, I'll leave it there. And I hope you guys are doing are doing well and staying happy and healthy and this was not a planned video so that's why it's a little choppy and my room looks like i don't even live here but it's all i closed every door because everything uh, i don't need you guys to see inside my closet even though it's completely organized i don't need you to see inside my closet some things just don't need to be shared um but anyway uh till next time like i said happy healthy stay weird don't hurt anybody <laughs> and uh, stay true to yourself and use your mind, you know, to gift. Look into things before you make a judgment. Don't listen to one f 
deity or, or person or however you envision somebody because um, they do not have your best interests at heart because they don't know you and they never will. Remember that. Remember to the people who are around you who do know you and know your true self and uh, are hoping you find your way out of this <laughs> if you're a believer in some of these really dark things. So anyway, um, take care and uh, I will, you know, see you soon. Bye.